Welcome, my name is Mentorius and welcome to this uh, review of Stand Alone. It's a small survival game where you pick a soldier and you upgrade it along the way and try to survive as long as possible. Uh, I played one practice match and a few uh, games that didn't go that well. So let's take a look at all the characters. First thing we got Max. Max is an overall character with 150 health, 23 damage and average movement speed. Then uh, we, the next one we got is Barry the Canadian with a very high damage. He's a little bit slower than Max but has the highest damage in the game at the start at least. Then we got Jimmy. Jimmy is the fastest uh, in, the, in the game, but not much, much damage and definitely not the most health. Marcel, Marcel the giant, a lot of health, uh, low movement speed and low attack speed and low damage. So let's take Marcel out for a spin. Immediately notice that he ain't oh, that fast, but he can shoot. So, I guess the main problem is to stay alive. This game is damn hard. Guess I'm going to die. Yes, I'm going to die. Score 590. Alright. Let's play a few more rounds to see if how we can upgrade it. This guy is really slow. In my practice round I played as the sniper, so I guess we're going to switch the other characters too. And the sniper was one shot one kill most of the time but he get got way harder enemies. Uh, yes. So one more, re more try with uh, this guy. Movement is with the uh, WASD key, and you're, when you press the W key, you're not moving in the direction you are facing, but you go in the direction only up. It's only up, and the S is down. So it was kind of confusing. Oh shoot! was going to maim you to pick another character but uh, we get some extra points wonder if this is smart. No, it's not staying in the corner. They still spawn behind you. Yeah, let's get to the main menu. Now I have 1,110 1, points, so let's... Oh, the upgrades cost way more. <laughs> so I guess I need to grind a lot. Alright, let's take a look at the other characters in the game. Jimmy, that's Jai Jimmy. If you play rank, you that's the only way you get uh, the the score. This guy plays nice if you hit it. Yeah, 
his shooting range is pretty good. This is nice, playing with this guy, because he has, oh, this movement speed is great, if you have this movement speed oh, with the sniper, it would be fantastic, oh, shoot, let's try this another one, because we really have to aim a little bit better. But I guess the closer they are, the more damage I do with this gun. Oh, 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 shoot. is hard. The game was way harder than I expected. Uh, Alright. Now let me show you the sniper because I am a little bit familiar with the sniper. Barry. Barry the Canadian. Because the fun thing with him is oh, if you hit Come on, that was one terrible round. Come on, I can do better than this. Oh, this is a crappy round. It seemed that I had a crosshair over it, but it seemed that Come on. Crosshair is over him but he do it ain't hitting him because I guess Pointer isn't 100% correct. On long distance, it is. You see, this is something they need to fix because I'm truly hitting the guy. All right, let's go to the last character. Uh, play Max. Max the Terror. A little bit combination of everything, but a very low speed. He's kind of fast. He ain't the fastest, but I guess I like the fast guy better then, because this one is almost doing no damage. So I guess I'm going to grind a little bit because I do want to show you the upgrade points and I guess I'm going to grind a lot with Jimmy or more so because they're currently my favorite and if he's getting more health he will be fun. So I'll see you in a while. and. Uh, Let's do the second part of this review. So by now we grinded over uh, 20,000 points. We upgraded Jimmy with one damage point. So uh, I find it a little bit disencouraging because I have to grind a lot. The progress is slow, very slow. And I 
guess there's not much else to do than just grind your way through those points because you do need them. For now, after playing, uh, I guess over a few hundred games by now, I get an average of 1300 points every game, but you don't get 1300 uh, points for uh, the upgrades every game, so I don't know how that system works. And yeah, that makes this a long grinding game. It is fun though, but uh, yeah, I would love to speed up the grinding and maybe make some map progress that you go to another maps once you level up more but yeah maybe that's in the game but i haven't seen it yet but maybe i need to level up my character a lot before i get it far but it feels now that it's a lot of grinding this fun but it's a grinding game so that said there's a lot of work to be done in this game but it got some real potential if you want to look it up it's on steam and it's i guess it was 3.99 euro so it's even cheaper in dollars so for now uh thank you for watching if you enjoyed the review give some thumbs up and uh yeah uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos 